Okay, so I've got my um, bike I've ordered from Evan Cycle. It's a Muddy Fox electric bike. Comes in this massive box. I'm not too sure why it comes in such a big box, but anyway, let's open it up. And I'm going to do a review on this, how quickly it is to assemble and also what it's going to be like to use as a commuting box user guide here and this box i'm hoping is going to be the charger yep so we've got a battery charger with a UK plug, which is always a good sign. And like the kettle lead, the figure eight lead. Just that to one side. Also comes with some tools, some bits and bobs. So we've got a little box in here which says Evans Tools. Multi tool. Oh, so I get a free multi tool with it. Got a look of it. Nice, Andy. So, literally, I've got my multi tool here and they give you one. So, that's one, Andy. So, thank you for that, Evans Cycles, for the free $4.99 multi tool. You get a couple of a spanner in there. Two Allen keys and a multi Allen key, um, a multi wrench rather. Reflective Look. pedals. Look fairly decent pedals. That's a left. That's a right. Get this rubbish away first. Right. It's going to take me longer to take this wrapping off than it is to actually get the bike going, I reckon. Right, so obviously I know how the uh, pedals go on. Check I ain't missing anything before I go gung ho. It's already put on. It's got a quick release front wheel, so that's quite handy for transportation. Um, tell you about the V brakes. V brakes, this has got disc brakes, so this not sure what it's showing then maybe it's a universal universal guide. Yeah, well, I'm gonna need that. Right. The first thing I need to do is try and take this
So it'll be interesting to see how long it takes to actually assemble it. So first thing to do is obviously to loosen this off so I can actually get the wheel straight. Maybe it's not that one, maybe it's this one. There we go. Let's get that straight. Job's good them. Tighten up. So it's literally a bolt on each, uh, an Allen key on each side. Let's tighten this back up because I thought it was that one I was going to need to loosen it, but turns out it wasn't that. Put that back on. Get the. Okay, so this one's got an R on it. So the right side screws in normal. From what I remember, the left side is the opposite fret. That side. So the left side is a lefty loosey rather than a righty tighty. One thing I've noticed, it looks like there might be a cover missing on this side on the crank. side it looks like there might be a cover missing off this crank plastic shield probably wrong and also I think you can take the battery out you know there's a plate in the bottom here where all the controller goes in and a screw it on top here so I'm assuming the battery maybe can slide out okay so that's all done so Turn it on so there's any power, full power straight away, we've got low, medium and high, you've got a walk speed as well. That cutting straight away. So not too sure exactly how long that took but it wasn't that long but if I lift the back up and pedal it. You can hear that cutting in straight away. So let me have a quick ride around. I might have to lower the sea in the shorty and all. Have a ride around the garden. Oh wow. There we go, so first impressions, really happy with that. Uh, battery says it's got two bars on it, obviously I'm going to need to charge it up. You've got a low, medium and high. You've also got a push. Now that helps you walk it. I see that going. Isn't that button that's automatic so yeah everything seems to be pretty much 
ready to go just a case now of changing the seat putting a lot on the front lot on the back charging up and I'm ready to go um, it's pretty light as well for a, a electric bike so yeah I'm going to put a um, back mud guard on it as well and I was going to put a front mud guard on it but to be honest with you the thickness of this frame I've got a feeling I might not need it I might need to put something underneath here though just to protect the bottom of the frame the charging port is on the frame here just there I'm sure the controller etc is built into that so yeah really happy with that um, I got it because it was a really cheap way of getting into the electric bike market and also because it's not so heavy if it does run out of battery it's going to be like riding a normal bike obviously yeah, it's only got one gear but for my two mile commute to work it's going to be ideal so yeah hopefully this video has been helpful uh, this is the Muddy Fox Electric Avenue from Evan Cycles um, pay for next day delivery um, ended up being a really good price so yeah hopefully this video has been some help and you've got plenty of spare tools I'm going to stick this on I believe it goes on the back here there's not one on the on the front I think that's, that's how it goes on I think it goes on like that. The hardest thing to put up together on this bike is the reflector on the wheel. Oh! Well, I'm not going to bother with that anyway, I'm going to get lights on it, etc. Yeah, so hopefully this video has been some help. Guys, give us a thumbs up, and once I've got everything changed over, I'll show you what it looks like. Man,